Okay, so a quick one today. I'm going to make a tungsten stick out uh, guide block. Now, basically, rule of thumb is that you stick out your tungsten um, according to the width of the nozzle. So these are the ones that I use. I've got 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, and 12. So let's have a look at a 5. Measure that one. And that you'll find, hopefully. Yep, let's see if we can get this to focus. Focus you thing. Come on. There you go. Five sixteenths or eight mil. And the next one. Six. That'd be roughly three eight or should be. Let's have a look. Come on. Yep, there you go. Three eight. About nine and a half mil. And so on. And go up to the largest. I won't do it bore you with all of them. So that's the twelve. And that should be about three quarter. Which is approximately nineteen mil, I think. Come on, focus, focus. There you go, yep. Nineteen mil. So there you go. So what we're gonna do is try and make something that makes setting that stick out very easy. I'm new, new to TIG welding, so I'm going to use this bit of aluminium off-cut, drill myself some holes in it corresponding to the depth or the length of the stick out. And some people might say, you know, this is unnecessary and you need to adjust the stick out, but when you're learning, you know, a little thing like this, you can just chuck in your, your box with all your bits and pieces it's quite a handy little thing so I'm just going to stick up the sizes if you want to pause it and take them down and then we'll crack on so this is inch and a half across this block so I'm just going to scribe it half an inch either side so we'll split it up into three half inch sections and then let's have a look see how long it is. It's two inches long. I'm going to mark the centre. Two in the middle. And then I shall just eyeball about half an inch roughly. For the other ends. There you go. So that's got it all set up. Let's put some centre dots in there. Automatic centre punch. And for some reason that last one wouldn't work, so but it eventually got there. Right, so I'm just going to set this up in my little lathe mill combination tool. I've got a brand new drill in there which is 532. So my tungstens I generally use are about 2.4 mil. So I wanted to make sure that the drill is over the size of the tungsten. I'm just setting it all up onto the dots then tightening everything down. And get there. Just want to touch the, the surface. And then I'll set my dial up here onto zero. And then away we go. On zero. Each one of those um, marks is a mil, luckily. So the first one, I'm going to go down eight mil. Go 
going very steady because I don't want to over drill it. Once it's drilled, it's drilled. It's knackered if you go too far. Then we'll just move on to the next one, etc. I've sped this up a little bit, obviously. It's pretty boring. Nineteen mil. It's a bit of a novelty, really. You know, once you've got the idea, you'll be able to eyeball the the stick out. And obviously, jobs, different jobs require different stick outs. But once you when you're learning, I think this is quite a handy little tool just to be able to quickly set up your your torch. Without having to uh, employ your tape measure. So let's try it. So I've got a number six uh, shroud on there, nozzle, whatever you call them. Loosen off the back nut. I'm going to stick it out and then we'll start with, let's just try the second one, which is, should be three eight for a six. Tighten the back nut. Let's have a little look. Let's see if we can measure that. I really must get myself a new torch. This thing is the torch that came with the, the welder and it's so stiff. I really want to get myself one of those CK worldwide flexible jobs. And that's just about got it. I don't know if you can see. Try and show you a bit better. I'm setting that up. Let's have a little look. Yep, it's pretty good if it'll focus. Come on. There we go. There you go. Three eight. Nine and a half mil, roughly. Oh, again, I'm not going to bother changing the the uh, nozzle, but we'll just try another hole, just so we get an idea whether I've got these right or not. Which one should we do now? Let's do the biggest one. Tighten the nut. This one should be 19 mil, I think. Come on, focus. And there you go, 19 mil or three quarters of an inch. So, looking good so far. Just try one more. Which one should we go for? Uh, let's try the number eight. That should be about half inch, this one. So I'm still learning TIG, but this torch really doesn't help. So look at that, it didn't look as if that was very square, but it's pretty good, damn close. The gnats over half inch. But hey ho, it's close enough for me, so I'm quite pleased with that. Just gonna 
give that a little clean up and then we'll put some numbers on so I can instantly recognize which ones we need I've just got my little stamps out make sure I start with the right one ones aren't very good on this set but I think we'll be able to distinguish what they are there you go handy little tool just to chuck in your toolbox bit of a novelty but uh, handy for the beginner so thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one hopefully it won't be quite so long before my next video as it was for this one but I've been very very busy Catch you later.